Okay, here we go. This is Prison Break, the conspiracy on the Xbox 360. And it's supposed to be bad. I've never played it. Uh, let's try fish. I'm assuming that's just normal difficulty. Yeah, I saw the first season of Prison Break. I thought it was quite good. I saw the second season. I thought it was average. And then after that, it just got terrible and I fell off. But the game, based on the TV series, I know next to nothing about. It was one of those games you always used to see in the trade-in stores that we get here in the UK. I'm sure you get them all over the world. But yeah, we always used to see hundreds of copies of this game just staring at us like, please buy me. And uh, yeah. Anyway, let's give it a chance, but it is supposed to be terrible. Hence why I'm featuring it on bad video games. I hope it is bad for that for that reason alone. If there's too much cutscene stuff, I'll just skip. I'll skip them because we want to see gameplay. You can't judge a game on on cutscenes, obviously. Yeah, let's let's skip. Okay. More cutscenes. So I'm assuming we're going to be playing as is it Michael, the character, the main character's name from the TV series. That's the guy on the cover, uh, on the box art of this game, and on the DVDs for the TV series. The DVDs. We're going back there or Blu-rays, Blu-ray discs. Him. Yes, sir. Michael Schofield. Okay, so hold RT to focus. Look at me and call it out. You gotta learn to listen, Khan. Yes, sir. Be interesting to know if it's the same voice actors. I got a feeling it's not going to be. So this game was cancelled a few times, or rather, the the original developer who was making this game who were funding it as well, pulled out, then someone else took over, and then they pulled out, and then finally, Deep Silver, the guys who made, was it Dead Island, the original Dead Island games, they then finished the game. Good old Deep Silver, because the original Dead Island was a mess, wasn't it, at release? Mm, Get your ass on the line! So by the looks of things, this is just following the events of season one of the TV series, which... I don't know how I feel about that. They could have done something a bit more... Something a little bit more experimental, like having it focus on characters in between seasons, or, or something, I don't know. But this is just like, here, let's play season one. Of prison break. You, the stairs, nah. Ah, <laughs> okay. Move your ass. I mean, graphically, it looks mm, okay. No looks a little bit rough. With that said, a little bit rough. Come you get a prize. Okay. Schofield, get in. Sucre, you got a new friend. Make him feel at home. So, I thought I'd be playing as Schofield, the guy there in the blue shirt we saw at the beginning. But no, it looks like I'm playing as this dude who is an agent, isn't he? And he's inside prison to... I can't remember. It's been a long time since I've seen this. He's in there to spy, isn't he? On someone. Oh, this is already tedious. I hate quick time events. If I want quick time events, I'll play Parappa the Rapper on the PS1. Guacamole with lard. Close up on 44. I can't remember if this dude is in the TV series, you know, this agent. Let me know, guys. I, my mind's gone blank. It's so hazy when it comes to Prison Break. 
I've kind of erased it from my mind. Like I say, season one was decent. It really was good, a good show. It was intriguing, but then it just fell off a cliff. Okay. It's one of those TV shows I watched once and didn't go back. And then you've got masterpiece TV series like The Sopranos, which I've watched from beginning to end, season one to season six. Three, four, five times now. And that's a lot of TV. <laughs> but this is just like so throwaway. In my opinion, of course, some people absolutely adored this show. I'm just trying to remember if this agent dude is in it. Nah, this this guy's not in the TV series, guys. He, he's not. I just can't remember him being in it. Okay. So, at least that's something. We're playing as a character who they've developed just for the game. So, maybe there will be a little bit of background on this dude and why he's here. There you go. I'm starting a fight. Okay. I hope you've read all that, guys. Because I have for a change. Oh. Combat feels terrible. Absolutely terrible. It's all very cinematic. And I'm already starting to wonder... Like, what's the point in playing this? It, unless you really need... A prison break interactive type experience unless you really need that in your lives what is the point in this just watch the first season because gameplay wise this is just bang average okay I thought he was gonna kill me then yeah I'm not sold I'm not sold on this is it a terrible game hmm well let's see Let's see. I was always very suspicious of any movie or TV tie-in video game around this era. We got some good ones in the 8-bit and 16-bit days. Batman the movie, etc. They were great. Xbox 360, PS3 era. Did we get any real standout tie-in video games? There you go. There's a good question for you guys. 24 the game that was terrible as well wasn't it um i'm trying to think of some i can't pressure's on i've got to play this i can't be thinking about stuff like that as well anyway we're out in the main yard here it's a nice sunny day so we're gonna get some uh catch some rays out in the out in the yard here first time inside yeah here's some advice fish there's two kinds of time. Hard and easy. Hard time is being locked up all alone in the secure... Ah, oh, the voice acting's woeful from easy this guard. Is, well, easy. Which kind you want? Easy. Which kind you want? Smart man. Now see T-Bag over there? He's been crossing me up, just begging for some hard time. Go pick a fight with him, and I'll know you and me got another. It's very tacky. It's Don't very... And it's the shoe for you. It's very throwaway. This is the type of game I would probably rent and play it for the story, maybe. But even then, I've seen Prison Break, so why would I bother? I don't know. Um, but... Yeah, there's too much of this. Just I know this is the tutorial phase. I am going to play this for a while longer. Let's see if it opens up. First signs aren't good here. Some of the voice acting is quite good on the inmates, and some of the voice acting, like I said earlier, is, is woeful. <laughs> I thought I've got to attack this guy. Oh, I've got to talk to him first. It's all so linear, and just it's just one of those hold your hand games. Press Y, press X, press B, press Y. Guppy wants to swim in my pond. Guppy's got to pay maintenance and upkeep. Unless you want us to fight, and for that, I don't think you have the requisite testicular proportion. Ah. <laughs> yeah, th this is woeful.
it, it could be a game that we'd get on the Mega CD or the Sega CD. Like, w where you just get prompts to press buttons and there's bits of footage thrown in, you know? FMV footage thrown in between the little gameplay sections. It, it could be something like that. I mean, the 360 had so many good video games, as did the PS3. There's not a chance I would have touched this with a barge pole. Taking on tea bags is a sure way to gain some respect of the brothers in this place. And you can throw your fist, right, boy? My name is Sino. How would you like to earn some rain? Hello, Sino. Pleased to meet you. Anyway, we've got cutscenes. I'm not taking advantage of review scores here, am I? GameSpot gave this 2.5 out of 10. 2.5 out of 10 on both PS3, Xbox 360, or and the PC version. So all three reviews were scathing. Um, official PlayStation Magazine gave PS3 version a 2 out of 5. The Daily Telegraph, which is a newspaper here in the UK, described the Xbox 360 version as an abject failure on all counts. <laughs> It's a woeful, a woeful game according to all of the media. Like, there isn't one good review, guys. I can peek. Oh, is it going to be a stealth game? It's going to be a stealth game, isn't it? When it opens up. Here we go. It's going to be a stealth game. Sneaking around the prison, doing sneaky things. Oh... I mean, just play Splinter Cell. Just play Splinter. Was Metal Gear on any... Or was there any Metal Gear game ports on Xbox 360? But just play Splinter Cell. You don't need to play this. It's not fun to play in any way, guys. It's an alternative, I guess. If you're not one for watching TV... And you were interested in the prison break law and the story and the characters. You you could play this instead, I guess. Got piles on the achievements straight from the off look. Yeah, th this is boring, guys. It's it's just a boring game. I wouldn't say it's necessarily bad. Yes, I would. <laughs> I'm trying to be kind to it. I feel kind of bad just criticizing it when I've only been playing for what ten minutes or so. But it's just, it's just lame. It's a lame game. It's just got little bits and bobs of various other games all thrown together into a mixer. It is, it's trying to use the Prison Break license in, I was going to say in an experimental way, by having some stealth in there and that kind of thing, but it, it's not. It's all very generic. We've, we've seen all of this kind of thing a million times before. There you go, there's the stash, just randomly in this weird little room. Just sitting there on some boxes. I mean, come on. Yellow means you can climb on me. Except I can't all of a sudden. There we go. What was the other game where all of the yellow points meant we could climb them? Was it... Mirror's Edge? Was it... Dying Light? I can't remember. There was a game, though. Horizon Zero Dawn. Yellow means you could climb it, basically. The word to describe this game is boring. Not necessarily bad, although it is bad, but boring. It's just boring. I'm bored. And if I'm bored in a video game, it means it's bad. And it means I don't want to play it anymore. And it means I would have wasted 30, 40 quid, whatever this retailed at. Very boring. It lead, leaves nothing to the imagination because it just tells you 
every little thing you're supposed to do and I can't see that changing go here go there it's, it's always go to the X on the map but then it gives you the button prompts every time and it, it just like I say it leaves nothing to the imagination it's like is it gonna be fetch quests galore I guarantee that's the kind of game it's gonna be Go here for so so and so guy or gal. Good job, Snowflake. You got potential, white boy. Hit the Um yeah. Collect drugs, give to person, move on to next mission. Collect I don't know. Collect the soap from the bathroom, deliver to some other dude. It's just lame as all hell. I think that's Schofield in the distance. Not Philip Schofield, but, <laughs> but Michael Schofield. Oh, from Soap to Philip Schofield to, yeah. I mean, anyone from the UK will, will get the ref understand my references there. If you're not from the UK, just don't worry about it. It's, it's not worth explaining. Impossible. Not if you design the place, but first... I gotta get into prison industries. This game's making me miserable. <laughs> it is the prison setting. It is a bit doom and gloom, but it's it's making me miserable. It's horrible. This game is. It's just so bad. I've gone for oh, more achievements. You don't even have to do anything. Go and talk to someone. Achievement unlocked. Go and talk to someone. Achievement unlocked. Um, I've gone from saying it's it's not a bad game, it's just boring to yeah, this is bad. It's a bad video game. Lennox, here's the deal with Schofield. He wants to bust his brother out. No way. That place is like Oh, I can't be bothered to listen to that. No thank you. But yeah, this dude I'm playing as, I I, I definitely would have remembered him because he's like a main character for God's sakes. He's not in the TV series, but I think all of the other dudes are. You knew your wife before she passed. You knew Marla. There we go. This it's gonna be fetch quests. Talk to a brutzy. I think that's how you say it. It's gonna be that constantly. Right, where is he? Can I go this way? Let's see what happens if I do try and go out of bounds, actually. Let's climb over here. <laughs> you just get a stern look from the guard. He doesn't say anything. He doesn't grab you. You just get a stern look. And then it fades to grey. This is woeful. Yeah, we'll be skipping that. <laughs> oh, the drama. Okay. Right, then where's a Bruzzi? Or a Bruzzi? It's an Italian surname, isn't it? Okay. Uh, not those dudes again. I hear you're the man to talk to about PI. Who the hell are you? Nah. <laughs> Funny. That fish Schofield just asked me. To right, go to the guards' locker room. Here we go, more stealth. It's not a stealth game to me unless I can hide in a box. Okay, where is it? Must be round this way. Hello. Don't mind me. I'm just lurking. Lurking and stealthing in your jail. Alright, he's got to be here. Let's peek. Uh, there's no one in that, I don't think. No, there's no one in here. Let's see. Hey, you can hide in the closet. There you go. Again, very Metal Gear. Just play Metal Gear. It's far better. Or Splinter Cell. Both far, far better games. It goes without saying.
<laughs> Talk to me. A brute still running his family from the inside. He gets coded letters about the weekly takes, the big scores. I oh, it's corrupt as hell in this prison. Over. I'll squeeze our brute like a fat chick's ass. So, I'm still good here. As Eurogamer gave this a 3 out of 10. Xbox 360 version, they did not review the other versions. Metacritic, it currently sits at a 4 out of 10, or a 40 out of 100. The Xbox 360 version, that is. The best version is the PC version, which sits at a 47 out of 100. So it's still crap, even on PC, but I assume on PC you're going to get a good frame rate. It'll be smooth to play. It's a bit rough. It's a bit janky. On uh, 360. Hey, where'd he come from? Hey, Lewis, you going up to admin? Put this on my desk. No. Oh, I don't want to play this anymore, but I'm intrigued to what happens next. There you go. It's obviously got some kind of hook. I'll play for a little bit more, guys, just for you. Only a little bit, mind you. Oh, the unscrewing tutorial. All good video games have an unscrewing tutorial, said no one ever. Right, which stick? Left or right? Left seems to work. What about right? No, it's got to be left. Okay. There you go. There's your unscrewing tutorial done. Oh, this is just lame. Go to Bellick's office. <laughs> what happened then? Uh, it looks okay. What's that thing there? Was it a bolt or someone's head? I don't know. Hey, Davis. Command some stairwell check in the basement. You copy? Oh. Oh. Okay, the wall saw me, apparently. You can't let the wall see you. Let's try this again and hope... Uh, hope the uh, wall doesn't see me again. What, what is seeing me? I don't get it. Oh, there's something on the map. On the mini-map. Uh-oh. Will he see me if I just stay here? He's going to see me as soon as he turns around. But I don't know what to do. Oh, there we go. Ah. <laughs> this game's terrible. Let me know if you've played this, guys. And tell me what you thought of it. Right, it's getting here quick. Here he comes. Is this the same guard from the first cutscene on the bus? Or have they just all got bald heads? Oh, I, it's not funny. It's just not... It's the, the, the humour in it is not funny, guys. Hurry up, Ben. Oh, he's just disappeared. Okay. Let's go to... Let's watch out for this dude. There you go. Let's go to the X. Where else to go apart from the X? Now I've got a client. I mean, I mean, I would never have seen that above me. So to have the, it tell me that I can climb, to be fair... Is probably required there, but it does back up my point that it's such a linear experience. Hey, hey, it's an interactive movie. That's all it is. Can I help you with oh, here we go. We can't have our officers restricted in their movements. That's what I was thinking. So these two are going to get down to it, are they? And I can steal whatever it is I'm looking for. Okay, let's see what silliness this game <laughs> throws up next. Yeah, steal the letter. We're gonna get caught. Oh my god, the voice acting. We're gonna get caught. Ah! <laughs> it's, it's terrible. <laughs> Let's try that again. At least it loads extremely quick when you fail a stealth bit. The warden. 
<laughs> so tacky. I hate it. We're gonna get caught. By who? Right. The warden. Yellow. Sorry, Y and then B. There we go. I think I've done it. And another achievement. I mean, it's good if you're an achievement hunter, I guess, because it piles them on. Ah, uh, yeah, that that's Prison Break. It it on the Xbox 360, the conspiracy or whatever it is called. Absolutely woeful. Deserves its place on bad video games. Avoid at all costs. Just watch the TV series. Let me know your memories with this game if you have played this game. <laughs> Look out for more content. Come to the channel, guys. I'll speak to you all soon.